Hi guys, not quite sure whether to call this one of my bargain store projects or my what you can make out of an old DVD drive project. My wife pointed these out to me today in the bargain store. Tomato trellis. It's three rods which are iron or steel or something like that. They're certainly magnetic and they're nice and strong and rigid. 56 centimetres long or 22 inches and I thought they might make good rods for making the tower for another gravity powered car. Nice and rigid. Um, and this is part of the DVD drive, the lid or whichever way up you had it, lid or the bottom. So I'm thinking of making yet another gravity powered car but using these for the tower because they're nice and rigid so they should give me some stability. And I'm going to see if I can find some CDs to make the wheels with and see if we can make a nice rigid gravity powered car that will carry us a kilogram for five meters. I've been going through my scrap box of bits of pens and I found these rather nice little metal tubes and I've actually tested one already and I've been able to solder it so they must be brass I would think so I'm going to use those as the bearings for the axles I'm going to reuse these axles but I'll probably put um, CDs on them this time instead of these wooden wheels but they're just the right size so I'm going to solder them and I've done a test solder there as well onto the edge of there to actually hold the axles in place so that should give us good bearings we've moved on a bit now I've soldered those little brass tubes in place. They'll be the bearings for the axle. The axle is the tube that I got from that Father Christmas windmill decoration. I've got three CDs on each side to take the weight and the, uh, what have we called that, the bush is a piece of wooden dowel that happens to be exactly the right size for the inside of the CD and I've drilled the centre of that to take that tube so that's how I'm holding the CDs in place I've cut and bent the metal plate so that it clears space for where the peg will go through the axle and wind up the line so the next thing to do will be to put some, I've got some bolts there that will go through these holes that are already on the plate and they just happen to be the right size to actually screw through there. And when that's sticking up proud I'll then put the rods on top for the tower. Right, that's me four bolts in place so now I need to sort out something at the top end to hold them all together I think the easiest option will be to reuse this wooden plate I made for the last gravity car. So I'll just take this apart and see if it fits. Very quickly, for the benefit of anybody who doesn't know how to take things apart that you've hot glued together, just use a hairdryer.
takes a while so I won't sit here filming it. Right, time for a test run. Attach the line to the back axle. And we'll just walk it up the length of my kitchen. You see it's winding up the weight as we go. That's only about half the potential height. So let's see how it goes. Well that's pretty successful. You may notice I've put the cushions at the end of the kitchen this time because this is hitting the end quite hard. So, summary. Let's start at the top. Wooden plate made out of plywood with a pulley from an old record player or cassette player, something like that. Just mounted on a bit of bent wire with a couple of cheap beads either side to hold it in place. The tower is made from some tomato trellis, I think it was called, or tomato tower or something like that, can't remember what it was, but my wife spotted them in the bargain store. They're actually metal tubes, so they're much stiffer than my flower canes. I've put some barbecue canes on them to st stiffen it anyway. Um, down at the bottom we've got three CDs on each wheel to give it the strength. The back axle and the front axle are made from some tubes that came from a Christmas Santa windmill garden decoration. The bearings are little brass tubes that came off of some fancy ball pens that I've soldered onto the metal plate. The metal plates come from the DVD drive. Uh, so say three CDs on either side. The hubs are actually bits of wooden dowel that happen to be the right size to go through the centre of the CD. But I've drilled the centre of the dowel out to accommodate the tube or the axle. The weights are my old fishing weights. So I've got enough there to add up to about a kilogram because my scales don't measure that accurately so it's at least a kilogram there and that's it that just went five meters in my kitchen very easily very confidently that had gone much further